Hi all, welcome to another video of Angular PrimeNG series. In this video, I will explain about PrimeNG input text. So normally, PrimeNG support different types of inputs like input number, input switch, etc. Today's our topic is input text. So input text renders a text field to enter some data. So it's a replacement of normal input type equal to text in HTML. So there are different options available here. So one is basic uh, input text and the other one is we can use the float label. Once we focus on that input box, the label will float in the top section. Then another option is we can include the icons on the left side as well as on the right side. We can include some help text, help text under the input box and we can also show some error messages with red color and border also as a red color and we can disable the input box and different sizes are available for the input text the default size is normal and the other sizes are small and large and in this video i will explain about the event handling of input text as well so let's get into the code so first you have to import input text module so i'm just copying this one and I am only having an app component here. So if you have multiple modules, you can import that module wherever you want to use that particular input text. In that particular module, you can use this input text module. So in my case, there, there is only one app.module.ts. So I am importing that in app.module.ts. So I am copying input text module and I am importing in the imports array. So while using the input text module, we either we will control our input using ng model or a reactive forms module. So if you are using ng model, you have to import the forms module. So here I am using ng model. So I am importing the forms module also. I am saving it. And let's go to app.component.ts file. In this file, I am declaring a variable called first name so that I can use it inside the ng model. Saving it and go to the app.component.html you can type input then type equal to text you can give p input text and you can give an ng model also if you are using reactive form you can give form control also so here i am using ng model and i am giving the field name as first name okay so so here you can see I can type the values and in order to see it is updating properly what I can do I can give a spam with a class equal to block these class are coming from the prime ng flex and I'm giving a first name here and if you want to give some label you can give like label four equal to first name then you can give the label name as first name and you can give an id equal to also as a first name so if you have multiple input fields or any of the form elements you can wrap this one inside another div I'm saving it for now and since I have added label and I didn't add the class called block it will show that way so if I added the block it will come on the top and I can add the name while adding the name all these values are getting updated and it is showing here 
the next this is a basic uh, input text and the next section is a floating label how can we implement a floating label so i am adding a span or div let me add the div and add the input element first then add the label second then give a class if you search for float label a class called p float label so you have to give p float label and i am just adding some h2 tag otherwise you can't see it properly I'm saving it if you see the label is coming inside the input box and if you click on it it is going to the outside so this is how we can implement the floating label the next scenario is how we can add a uh, icon icon in that one for that we have a class called p input icon left or right so I'm giving a class called p input icon left and here the label is not required inside that particular class i am just moving it outside and the next thing you have to do is you have can, you can give the icon and whichever icon you need you can give the class name so here i am just giving the pi search icon from the prime ng icons saving it refresh you can see the label and the icon on the left side in order to show the icon on the right side you can give the class p input icon right this is the only change we have to give okay so this is the next section the other thing uh, you can see is sizes before going to the size section I will introduce uh, I will show how we can enable or disable particular input field in order to enable or disable this particular field you can give disabled option and if it is true this will get disabled and if it is false it will get enabled so by default it will be a false and if you want to give a disable variable any of the variable or you can give any of the condition here I am just adding a variable call disable and equal to false saving it and here I am giving that variable so refresh it okay. something is not working properly let me see it's I have done disable false so if I give the disable true You can see I can't click on it or type anything inside that one. So this is how we can implement disable in this uh, prime ng input text. The next option is different sizes are available for the prime ng. If you want to show a small size, you can give the class p input sm. So simply give by default it will take the normal input text if you are giving a class called p input text sm it will be the small compared to the previous one and if you want to show some large you can give lg then it will become more large in the same way if you want to give the placeholder you can give some placeholder as well so first name is a placeholder i am giving now placeholder is also coming so these are the main options available here then the next thing is like how to do a validation in an input text so doing the validation now I am uh, going with the template driven form so I am doing the validation with that one for that I am giving an f name a variable name uh, this first name and this variable should be a different one otherwise it will throw some error and I'm giving ng model and I'm giving it as a required field 
so I'm saving this one and if you type something here and if you remove it you can see a red border automatically coming from the prime ng how it will come is if you click on the inspect element if a form is a ng invalid and ng dirty so if someone types and removed it then it is not a required right so it's it, it is required so it, it will throw error so if ng dirty and ng invalid come together prime ng itself have a css for showing the border color as a red one so this is how it will show the red color so in order to show a message also down the down this particular form what you can do behind uh, bes uh, below that particular input text you can give another one called small it will uh, show some text in the small size and in order to show in the next line I can give a class called block and uh, in order to show the error in red color you can give p error it's it's come from the prime flex and you can give some message called fee first name is required first name is required and it won't it no it need not to show in all cases we have to show only when it's ng dirty and ng invalid so if that is the case you can put a condition ng if and in that you can give f name dot invalid and f name dot dirty so in this both conditionally the first name is required that message they will show it so I'm just saving it and I'm typing something I'm removing then message is going and when you type again the message is hidden so this is how you can do the validation also the same way we can do the validations for uh, validation for form control reactive form as well but instead of this f name ng model you have to handle from the component.ts itself but the same way we, we can show this you know small thing and the name is there will be some changes in the name as well this is how we will implement the validation the next next thing is like even handling so how we can do the even handling in the input text so if you are using an ng model either you can use the angular default uh, events like key up so if you are doing the key up and I am doing writing some function saving it and I'm going to component.ts just calling the console.log here saving it so if you type something on or each keep it is showing here so this is a one option the other option is input is there then ng model change if you are using ng model you can specifically mention ng model change but this key up will work both in ng model and this reactive form as well so you can use blur focus so these things are available by default for the input box in angular so those things you can use for this p input text as well so this is all about uh, different options available in the prime ng input text.